channel finally I'm making this video it's January haul if you're new here welcome my name is Intan Roslini or you can call me Intan or Rosy so let's just start oh yeah before we start this video rip for my two Piper switches Piper Parmanum and Piper Spa they both died I don't know what I was doing wrong it's just I think they're very sensitive but ripped rest in peace their soul so yeah we and Piper's for now we are not friends so this plan is Piper Clypeatum um, this is very cute right it's a Piper family and I have never seen before in real life this is actually has a iridescent a silver gold sparkle in it it's very beautiful like if if you're looking for a very very cute and unique fiber that's very uncommon or even rare this is the way to go so hyper clypeatum and this is a macodes petola aka jewel orchid I hope you can see it clearly. Yeah. I got it as a bonus when I bought uh, that plant, the Piper. So it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, I never had Piper before in my life. So this is going to be my first time. It's so far, so good. The next one is my second Rapida for Atata Sperma. Yes, I had my. I had this before in the past and it was growing so well for so many months even I think almost a year I think and then one day got mealy bags I put it outside it got disease Kali Sorry. yeah it got disease like a yellow spot under the leaf and it's spreading throughout the whole plants and finally I try to propagate it but it was too late so my lessons is do not put your plants outside I don't know what was wrong so after a while then I got this one it's it's definitely not any taller than the last one I got but this is pretty beautiful this a uh, two new leaves it's actually their new one this and this look at this this one is cute yeah so i hope this one will last forever on me one thing that i had noticed was i didn't have uh, it was too hot where I was put my last mini monstera and I didn't have like good air circulation and lack very very lack of humidity it's just very dry and hot so I learned my lesson let's hope this will uh, be with me for so many years to come this one is a Brenum Pinatum Cebu Blue. I was I had a dot before if it's normal epic Bremnum or Cebu Blue, but now I'm pretty sure because the blue hue on the leaves is getting prominent as I put this in the bright lit light in a room. So yes, I hope you can see this is actually very very long, right? And So if, if you can see this, right, this is ghost, ghost is, 
and down so it's actually very long I was thinking to repot it in a much longer pole but then it will look bald so I'm gonna let this um, as it is right now when it's came in like this for now this is such a nice specimen I think in this clip you can see how bluish this is maybe compare with my hmm, Trelitzia reginae for here yeah okay so this is the Epipremnum pinatum sepal blue and this one got me real excited because how beautiful this ones look I mean like it's has a lot of white leaf and this one is actually the new one yeah oh yeah this one called apripenum pinatum albo farigatum this one has a hole already in it can you see yeah this hole so yeah i'm super happy about this one it's not the cheapest plant but i think it's gonna be um with me for Ever, I hope I give him the best condition as possible now so I hope it grows bigger I I really love it and this beauty is called Philodendron Colossum this remind me a lot of my past philodendron rugosum because of the thickness of the leaves and the, the very texture of its leaf it's just the nicest thing ever it's super thick i hope this will live with me since i now learned my lesson and give a humid humi more humidity i just recently bought humidifier so I hope I can keep this guy so I cannot tell much about all these plants because I do not have it for a very long time it's just one month with me but so far so good most of them anyway so stay tuned for updates maybe I'll make an updates video of each individual plants or I will just make it um, an update on Instagram post so we'll stay tuned guys this next plant it's called Syngonium erythifolum leanocarti road I know it's such a longer name um, did you remember if you are following me on Instagram I had this synapsus to be the dark form which is a very the, the black one not the dark green one that people also have so that dark black synapsus therapy did not make it so I was looking for that but it's super rare turned out it's really hard to get my hands on them so then I found this one I mean like I'm craving for the black leaf um plants that are so unique because everything is green everything is variegated white you know don't get me wrong i really love them but there's something very interesting and masculine and elegant about a black uh, leaves or on plants and i really love them so I actually bought two individual plants and made myself a stick so they can climb on them. I think they like it because for the past a week or so, I already see a bunch of new leaves around like, yeah, this four is obviously new and this guy are coming to town. See. yeah <clears throat> it's keep focusing on my eyes but guys this is just beautiful and if you fan of plants who has purple underneath like underside 
you not going to be disappointed and this is not like some dark green it's almost black it's not black by any means it's not as black as my synapses true to be black form but it still has the same fine this is a black syngonium oh it's just very cute and pretty I'm so happy the next plant is called Singonium chiapense or chiapense I'm not sure how to pronounce this correctly but this is such an uncommon Singonium that I think it's worth to try because this has such a thick leaf and I am really interested in something that are uncommon even like not popular at all it's all about a discovering new thing instead of having something that are currently on trend that are normally over the top expensive actually i saw this one on one of the summer rain oaks video 365 uh, plants something like that and the liver uh actually very very interesting because i saw this moss mature leaf has such a pattern when the new one is just purely mm, like a dark green i'm not sure if, if it's just a variation of the leaf or it's a thing about this plant but nonetheless this you have to try this one because it's it's just beautiful I'm lucky to have it, I'm telling you. And this one is a plant before the last one. And this call is Synapsus lucens. I have never heard this before. Also never seen this in real life. This is so interesting. It reminds me a lot of the shape of um, Monstera Siltipicana only it has a love shape that are more prominent I think Siltipicana has longer leaf and it's more narrow and obviously the color it's almost like a silver like not even almost like you can see on the camera it's like whitish silver like pale dusty green it's just very beautiful if i saw on google it's climb up the tree it's just amazing if i could grow it that long and then climb on my wall so also what i really love about this is the texture it's really textured if you can see yeah the texture of the leaf it's very incredible you can almost see it even on camera on the back of the leaf it's also like this so it's really bumpy and texture such a beautiful species i was i knew about this earlier but i have no regrets yes and i believe in indonesia these plants are still a little bit pricey because it's obviously uncommon but I saw an Instagram paper from Malaysia and I saw two different type of lucents. One they have really texture like this and the other ones are a little bit the texture are not very prominent. And as far as I know, this one is native to Sumatra SP, which is here in Indonesia. Sumatra is an island in Indonesia and the other one that has less prominent texture it's from malaysia like native to peninsular malaysia so if you know anything about that and if i was wrong please correct me i'm really interested in learning more about this oh and since i got it around couple weeks ago this is my new leaf it's a baby green so this is a my lovely cutie synopsis 
loosens. So this is my last blend that I also was so excited about. And here we go. Yes, in Bahasa Indonesia, it's called Anthurium Dasi or Thai Anthurium. The Latin name, I believe, this is a single. single this is Anthurium Phytolifolium. Fit, yeah, Phytolifolium, something like that. This is very thick. Like, you talk about thick stuff. This is the way to go. Well done. And this is hook already. It's sent like this. I'm so happy. Although with this type of planting, I have to keep up with the watering. I gotta water it every day, which is fine. Sometimes I get lazy, so maybe I just like put it in the shower and me shower with him every day. So it's cool. I call it him because it's a Thai, you know, it's a guy, it's a male. So yeah, this one is very thick. I will put, try to put a little bit close up on this. And I also kind of pretty lucky because the price is really good for this size. Uh, he had, he or she. The seller had another one that are bigger, but I prefer this one for the sake of the shape. It's more like uh, straight. The other ones are a little bit kind of like this. Is it funny? And yeah, so I just took this one. I don't even have Antorium anymore now because I gave it away to my friends. Um, yeah, but Anthurium that shape like this, long shape like this, like, sign me up, I'm all about it. I know these guys are going for a, like a buckle box outside the country, it can be really pricey, but I'm interested in long anthurium these days, but suddenly they are not the cheapest plant to collect. So I'm just take my time, and I didn't actually really had plan to buy this. I just going through my Instagram, you know, and then I think when it's time, they will find you. The plants will find you. But if I like really looking for it, and then. I found it it's 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 not the best way to go sometime I didn't find the best one but when I take my time and just like let it sink in do I really want that because you know can be quite emotional like anything else that you want to buy like sport gears <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I will link every seller on Instagram down in the description box. Aku akan taro semua link Instagram penjualnya di bagian deskripsi di bawah video ini. Yeah, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it, and I see you next time. Bye.